Welcome back. It's our favorite day of the week, Friday, which means it's time for Friday feed and it's no regular Friday. It is Good Friday. That's right. Al Bear <laughs> is at Old Time Grocery this morning. Exciting stuff. We're going to see what he's got planned for the morning. Hey, Al. Hey, good morning, guys. I could not be more excited. If, uh, if you've gone to UL, if you've lived in Lafayette, this is sort of hallowed ground. It's Old Time Grocery. Uh, I got to tell you, I, I couldn't be more excited to be here. I'm here with Becca Murphy, uh, who runs the place. Her dad opened it, and we're going to tell that story later because let me tell you something. You're going to love this story. Uh, Becca, this is an institution. Give us a little bit of the history. Okay. So my dad, Glenn, uh, opened it in, on May 28, 1982. It was his birthday. He came in and he was open that afternoon and his friends came in that evening, bought him out a beer. So they went that night and went to the keg and he spent it back on them. And so they've been open ever since. Now there's great history. <laughs> went back to the keg. I mean, for those people of a certain generation, you go, wow, the keg, I hadn't thought about that in a while. And what, what I was so excited about, Becca, Becca is the, the, the cool sandwiches that you have here that we discussed yesterday. So talk about some of the seafood offerings that you have here. So. Every, every day we offer shrimp po' boys and oyster, but on Fridays we offer catfish all year long, and on Lent Fridays we have crawfish po' boys, fried crawfish po' boys. So. Now that's pretty cool. I have not had the fried crawfish po' boy. Carter and I discussed this yesterday. Carter said, I, I love the pastrami here. I'm so addicted to the pastrami here, it's crazy. Carter said, well, I'd never have that. I love the shrimp. And so I was stunned when you told me, I thought you were selling only pastrami uh, but you told me the shrimp's pretty popular. The shrimp is 50% of our business, so people like fried shrimp. <laughs> so Carter Semino was indeed correct on that one. So the pastrami, is that like 45%? I, I would say a little lower than that. but <laughs> A little lower than that. Hey, we're talking pastrami. We're talking seafood. We're talking old-time deli. We're talking UL history. We're going to go back to you in the studio for more News 15 today. I didn't even know they had pastrami until Al started talking about it yesterday. So, <laughs> But I do love that shrimp, po' boy. Excited to see what they're digging up in our next half hour.